This video is to help you set up and use Concrete 3 with Native Instruments Machine. Now, obviously the first step is to install and activate Concrete inside of Contact or Contact Player. And once you've done that, you just need to look for your downloaded Concrete folder. And in there, there's a subfolder called Machine Presets. There's three folders in there that you need to move to a specific location so that machine can find the Concrete Preset kits. On a Mac, as I'm using here, that would be in your Documents folder, and then go to Native Instruments, Machine, Modules, Instruments, and then the Plugins folder. And we just need to drag those three Concrete Kit folders into the NI Plugins folder. And we can close them now, we're done. And the next step is to Launch Machine. And all you have to do here is go to the Preferences, and then go to the user paths tab on the left and hit rescan. And that's it, we're done. If you look at the browser on the left now, you can see that concrete is there under bank and then concrete one, two and three kits under type and all the kits are here ready to use. Now you can actually call up a concrete kit directly from the machine hardware, just hit browse and then set the filter to instrument, select concrete under bank, and then choose either concrete one, two, or three under type. And on the right, you can see and scroll through all the kits available, and then just hit load to call one up. Now, if you press the button highlighted here, you can bring up concrete's interface, and you'll also probably wanna put machine into keyboard mode at this point by holding down pad mode, and then pressing the keyboard button at the top so that you can access all the samples in the kit. And of course, you can also bank up and down to access the whole range of samples available in the loaded kit. So if we use Machine Step Sequencer just to get us started and then zoom in, we can see that the eight control knobs in Machine are mapped to parameters in Concrete. And there's also a second page with another eight so you can really shape the, uh, the samples directly from the hardware. It's worth noting as well that you might want to turn off Select by MIDI on Concrete's interface if you want to tweak individual samples during playback. And that's it. So using concrete inside a machine, we can get some cool drums laid down really quickly and have a lot of fun in the process. Thank you. 